Lombo, another team who's kind of in a similar situation to the Bills. The Chargers obviously had to get rid of a bunch of, mm -hmm. you know, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. Uh, and we hear all the stuff that Harbaugh's saying. He's saying all the right things. He's quirky. He's hilarious. He's living in an <laughs> RV out there. It's, you know, Happy New Year to all the players coming back in. What do you think realistic expectations are for the Chargers this year? Because I think when he got hired, I know I assumed, and I'm sure a lot of people did, it's just like, okay, well, this is going to be a failure if he doesn't win 10, play, uh, 10 games and go to the playoffs this year because he's that good of a coach. But what do you think realistic expectations are for the Chargers this year? Oh, I think they can win 10 games. I mean, look, I know they lost two receivers, but they, they, they were probably going to have to get rid of one of them anyway. They tried to keep Allen. He wouldn't take the pay cut. They traded him, and then Mike Williams was coming off the injury. Look, you heard Harbaugh say it. I mean, he's talking about offensive line. They're going to run the ball. They're going to do things to make Herbert a better player, and they're going to become, and I think this is the most critical component he brings to the table, they're going to become tough. They're going to become a tough team. They're going yeah. to practice harder. They're going to be more demanding. They are going to be I tough. Wasn't. And they're going to win more close games no than they've ever won before. Watch, That's man. his mantra. That's what he believes in. And they've got a blue-chip quarterback. And if they manage the team right around this quarterback, I, I think I think they can easily win 10 games. I think anybody who discounts them because they got rid of of, of two receivers, I mean, that's really a mistake. They're going to improve their offensive line. They've got to get better up front. Bosa's got to stay healthy. Obviously, he took a pay cut to do that. So I, I have a lot of high expectations for this team because I know Jim's personality will be involved in the team. And he will be – and they will become tough. There will be no quit in the team. They will play hard, and they'll find a way to win those close games like he did his first year when he went to San Francisco. Is this film from their OTAs yesterday? Yep. Okay. It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Look, this is where it all starts. This is where mm -hmm. you build the culture for your oh, team. Yeah. This is where you got to you got to have like, you know, he hired a strength coach from Michigan. He knows what he wants to do with the team. He's going to ask the team to be committed to fully to this program and they've got to do it. And and I think that's ulti that's how you get your team tough enough. Look, you don't win championships without mental toughness. You don't win championships without hard work. I mean, we see it in basketball. We see it in every every sport. You've got to be committed to your profession. And I, and I think he'll make that. And, no, and the one thing I know about the Chargers, they will be tough next year. So, I, I don't know. I agree with you because I listened to the strength coach speak yesterday, and he was just – Oh yeah, weapon. I mean, yes, yeah. yeah. Bald head. No game. None. Just, Everything you want. Yeah. Came with yeah, 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 yeah. No wonder Michigan won in that. Well, yeah. in college, yeah. Your strength coach is like the one that, like Barwis was yeah. our strength coach. Barwis was the culture. So mm. like yep. the culture of the team. Yeah. Now Rich Rod obviously brought in Barwis yeah. because that is Rich Rod's culture as well. But Barwis was with us every day. Every. His team was with us every morning, every day, yeah. every afternoon. They're the ones that are the ones punishing you if yeah. you. Have a get together where a couple people end up getting arrested. Sure, like that he they yes. are the ones that are instituting the culture. I appreciate, and I never knew if it would ever work or not because in the NFL it's like a lot of just let's get the guys to the game as opposed to like we have to grow these guys, mm -hmm. build these guys, right. shape these guys. Right. It's a little bit of a different mindset. Feels like Harbaugh's like we're going to try to get these guys to want to be in this building all year yeah. round so we can have a similar type yeah. operation in the weight room. And that communication in the weight room when it comes to those strength coaches, because just like anything else in college, you know, they got all the control. You're going to come in here, you're going to do the workouts we say do. As a pro, me and you may have completely different workouts, yeah. you know, dealing with different injuries. You got to be have that trust in that guy. We had um, Mike Warsick in New England when I got there, and Dog. he won a bunch of Super Bowls in the 90s with the Cowboys. So instant credibility and respect from everybody in the building, from Brady on down to anything he said when it came to working out, taking care of your body. And you see that coming in, you got to – obviously you got to win, but to, to Lombo's point, they will be tough. You know that. Hell yeah. yeah. Excited to watch them. All right, yeah. Lombo, we appreciate yep. the hell out of you, brother. Thanks for joining Thank us. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even vote. I didn't even get the vote. <laughs> that, was that was yesterday's story. That was yesterday's story. Oh, okay. Forget it. You, you know what I voted on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What? What did you vote? Oh, I think there was no question about it. I, I agree with the consensus or the wisdom of the crowd. There was no doubt about it. Yeah. None. The only thing we didn't get was the smell, but we're all good on it. <laughs> How about him just shitting <laughs> his pants? Yep. Nuts. I mean, and then can he pick up his dry cleaning at some other time? I mean, like, <laughs> How about like, the yogurt? Like he's doing a TV show. I don't need to see his dry cleaning. I mean, at some point. Is he living out of his van? I mean, like, <laughs> is he like living out of his van, or what the hell's going on here? <laughs>
Love you, love It was New York Post. They had a, a – no, granted, that's not a big deal anymore now that we know how it actually operates. But, like, that being the – The headline. <laughs> yeah. It's just yep. so – So good. That's a wild world we're in. Two of them. Yeah, here's – it was everywhere. Daily Mail, I believe, picked it up. Daily Caller picked it up. New York Post, I believe in some people overseas, you know. Yeah, they, they, they were even to. running with it. Mm -hmm. American sportscaster shits pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And I love it. Orlovsky's the gift that just keeps on giving. Truly. Danny Dumps. No, oh, in, in a thousand ways, there's no doubt. In a thousand ways. There we go. <laughs> love you, Dan. I'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> in, a in a thousand ways. <laughs> yeah.